In this video, I wanted to try rationalizing a denominator that was a little bit more complicated looking than the previous examples. And let me just go ahead and give it a shot here. Uh, I see that I have a binomial that has two radicals in the denominator. And I also have a numerator that also has two radicals. And it's also a binomial. That really doesn't change my procedure, though. What I'm going to do is multiply by the conjugate. Remember that the conjugate includes the same terms as the ones in question, and you just change the sign in the middle to the opposite sign. And again, we have to do that in the numerator as well, since I'm multiplying by 1. That looks a little complicated, but we can actually do that FOIL as long as you do it you know, one step at a time, just the smaller problems within the larger problem. Let's try this. Radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4, or the square root of 4, or just 2. Radical 2 times radical 3 is plus radical 6. I can do that because the indexes or indices are the same. You can multiply what's underneath. For the middle term, I get the exact same thing. Radical 3 times radical 2 is radical 6. And radical 3 times radical 3 is just 3, or square root 9. Okay, let's try it for the denominator now. Radical 2 times radical 2 is just 2. Radical 2 times radical 3 is plus radical 6. Radical 3 minus radical 2 is minus radical 6. And then minus radical 3 plus radical 3 is minus 3. Now, don't be tempted to cross them out this way. You can't do that because of the additions and subtractions, but you can do them sideways. I can gather my like terms and then maybe reduce anything I can. 2 plus 3 is 5, and radical 6 plus radical 6 is plus 2 radical 6. It's not radical 12. Make sure you understand the difference between adding and multiplying radicals. In the denominator, I get 2 minus 3 is minus 1, and then these cancel out. There we go. That's simplified pretty nicely. As I did in a previous problem, the final answer is very rarely something that looks like this with a negative 1 in the bottom. Normally, they bring the negative to the top, and it might look like that, which is also the same as that if I distribute. So basically, all of these terms are equivalent. 3, step 4, this one, step 4, that one. All of those would be the exact same answer, uh, for example, on a multiple choice test, and one is not any better than the other. Okay, good luck to you.